Okay, folks, um, this is going to be a long video because this is a lot of stuff on this chair. This is the Mac Daddy of all power chair. This is the Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing. This chair will take a person sitting to standing position and driving in a standing position. This is the only chair, well, not the only chair, but the most popular, the highest quality chair you can buy if you want a standing power chair. So this is a Permobil F5 VS. This chair has seven miles. It is a year old, it's the 2022 model, one year old with seven miles. It also has seven electrical functions. So if I can remember them all, you have the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. You have the interior tilt, you have the standing position, and you also have the feet to go up and down. Seven electrical function, folks, in the interior tilt, if I forgot to mention that. It is fully loaded. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a couple things. Right now, we have these two pieces of equipment on this chair, so if you're gonna make a person stand up, you wanna make a person come where the chair stands up, first two things you gotta do, you gotta put the knee brace on, and when you put the knee brace on, you got to make sure the foot plates are all the way in because if the foot plates are out, you're not going to be able to get past the cushion to get it in there. So when the foot plates are all the way in, it should be this easy to put it in. And this is adjustable here, so you can adjust the distance between the knee. And then the next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to put this, or if you're not going to use this, you definitely need to have Nope, you don't have one on here. So you gotta have this, and this is adjustable, okay? So you can adjust any position you want. This is your chest guard. So once you have the knee brace and the chest guard on, you can go to the joystick here or through the switch box. I'm gonna use the switch box because it's quicker for me. The first button shows you the seat like that. So you just pull the seat back, uh, I think it's pushing forward. Push it forward, and you'll see the chair will start doing all kinds of stuff. And if sooner or later, you'll see the seat. And we, watch these wheels right here. They're going to go to the ground here in a minute. Now they're going to the ground to give you more stability. And you see it's time to go up. Now the seat's not going to take you like this. It's going to take you like this on an angle. Um, but you'll, you'll see how far it's going to take you standing. So this would, be your, this would be your standing position, I think. Yep, we're all the way there. Also, remember I said to you, you can still drive this chair while standing, okay? So you can see that you can drive the chair while standing. And you can see the back of the chair from there. You can see this chair is like brand spanking new, okay? We're gonna bring the chair back here. So this is the standing feature, folks. Let's look at the base on the chair while we're at it. Folks, this chair right here weighs about 450 pounds, so it's a really heavy power chair. 450 pounds, it's a front wheel drive. What does that mean? That means your front wheels, your drive wheels are towards the front. That gives you a better turning radius outside. It's better for the grass because the weight of the chair, 450 pounds, all gets transferred right here, so it gives you good traction, okay? You have a suspension here, and you have a suspension here. You can see the suspension right there. You have four of these heavy-duty shocks on this chair. This is why this chair will give you such an amazing, comfortable ride, okay? You have an anchor point here, an anchor point here. This is where you secure your chair on these anchor points right here. You have four of them around the chair. If you're gonna transport your chair, you'll use these anchor points right here, okay? You have a motor right here for each wheel. So you can't see the motor because it's behind the fender, but it ends right here, but it goes all the way up to the wheel. So this motor, folks, is directly tied to the wheel. There's no chain, no belt, no noise, no mess, okay? Direct to the wheel, folks. If I want to push this chair, let's say the seat was down, of course. How would I push this chair? You can see 450 pounds of metal. What you would do, you would turn the power off right there. And what you would do, right here on the motor, there's a little lever. Push it down, and now you're in neutral, okay? You see the wheel, roll, the wheel rolls freely. You have a motor on each side. When you're done, put it back in gear, okay? So that's pretty much about the base. And these are solid tires. They're not gonna mark your floor, so don't worry about that. So I'm gonna turn the power back on. 
So I'm going to give it a second to reset. Then I'm going to back it up a little bit. And we're going to bring the seat back down. So now we're going to bring the seat back down. While the seat's going down, let's talk about the chair. The joystick is on the left side. No big deal. If you're right-handed, we can switch it back to the right side. No problem. This joystick has cut, has a swing away arm on it. This enables you to get to a lot closer to a dining table without having to raise the arm up and damage your joystick. That's called a swing away. So I'm bringing the seat all the way down. So now we're back to square one. So now the only time you would use the chest guard and the knee brace is only for the standing feature. So I'm going to take these off. The next thing we're going to show you is, I'm going to bring the seat forward a little bit. All right, so let me bring it over here. Now we'll do the seat lift. This chair has a 14 inch seat lift. This is one of the few chairs in the United States that will take you from 22 inches all the way up 14 inches to 36 inches high. So with the seat lift, again, you'll see the seat start to raise up. So you'll start roughly at 22 inches, add, thir uh, add 14 inches. By the time you're all the way to the top, you'll be at 36 inches high. Folks, you definitely can do your dishes looking down. You can grab stuff off the second, possibly the third cabinet, top of your refrigerator. You can be, and also when you're elevated this high, you can still drive this chair. So right now the seat's elevated, and as you can see, it still drives. So you can drive this chair, with the seat elevated, you can see the seat lift right here, the actuator for the seat lift. You can see that right there. So now we're going to bring the seat lift back down. So folks, I want to show you something else. Let's just say you're able to get out of this chair, okay? But you have a hard time getting out of your chair. I'm going to bring the seat halfway down. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the legs all the way in, the feet. I'm going to fold these up. Remember I said to you this chair has an anterior tilt where it tilts forward? Well, I'm going to do it right now. So a lot of buttons on here. There we go. Watch the back right here go down or go up. And You see it? You see the tilt? Look at that, folks. That's called the anterior tilt. So let's just say you have trouble getting out of your chair. Folks. Look at that. Yeah, I could have gone higher with the seat. Like you can go any height that you want. Isn't that amazing what they can do? Amazing. All right, let me bring the seat back down. So you can see now we're back to level. And then we're going to bring the seat lift back all the way down. So, so far we've covered the 14 inch seat lift, the standing feature, the tilt forward feature. The next feature we're going to do, folks, it's called the regular tilt, where it tilts back. So tilting back is when the bottom right here goes back. Of course, when the bottom goes back, it's going to take the leg, it's going to take the back because they're all connected together. This is really good if you need to take pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back, you want circulation, you just want to relax. So that's another one. Now I'm going to do the legs now. I'll never learn. Now remember, if you're 100 pounds or 300 pounds, we can customize these chairs to your size. We can expand these frames out. We can put bigger cushion or smaller cushion. We can change the back. We can change everything on this chair. So if you buy this chair, we can fit it to your size. Look at that, folks. That's a little extreme if you want some circulation. But let's just say you're halfway Let's just say you're halfway tilted. Let me bring the seat halfway down. Even here, folks, you can see the legs are still higher than the body, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to do the recline, okay? So the recline is when the back by itself goes back. Nothing else is moving. That's the sixth function. 
the back reclines and as you can see let me get back over here hold the button down if you transfer from the side if you use a transfer board there's nothing here to stop you from transferring you can just remove this leg right here this pad you can transfer from the side and put the pad back in this is your full recline folks look at that you're fully reclined here okay so we're going to bring the recline back up and we're going to bring the legs back down so I'm doing two buttons at once just to save time but you can also do that through the joystick right here and when you're outside leave those legs out a little bit not quite that much but leave them out so you have more ground clearance Right there is good. Now I'm going to bring the back where it's perfect position for driving. Okay, folks. The last option on this chair, the seventh function, these legs right there can go in and out this way. Not this way, but up and down, okay? Matter of fact, let me do this. Let me bring the legs down a little bit so you can see better from there. All right, watch this. Now, to make the legs go up and down, you have to go through the joystick. There's not enough buttons here. So you would push the joystick knob forward until you see a picture of the seat. So you're going to go forward. Now I see a picture of the seat. All you want is the two foot plates yellow with a yellow arrow this way pointing up and down. Right here with two yellow foot plates. If that's not what you see on your joystick, on your screen, just keep moving the joystick sideways until you get to where the bottom legs are yellow only and then an arrow up and down. Not this way, arrow, but up and down. So I'm going to keep moving until I see that. Ah, I see it. So yellow and the arrow. Now you're going to use your joystick. Watch. See the feet? Now when you get too low, the chair will not drive because you're going to damage your chair. So, so that, that, that foot plate goes down, you know, three, four, five inches. So that's the up and down feature. So folks, as I said, this chair has seven miles, seven features, incredible chair. I'm gonna put it back in drive and I wanna show you how the chair drives, how it turns in a circle in your house. So if you had it in your house, this is what it would look like in your house. So that's the turning of this chair in your house. Now if you're in the house, of course, you're gonna have your feet all the way in a little bit more than these, so you have the best turning radius okay now the seat on this chair is 20 by 20 okay it does come with a big safety belt an extra large one uh, the arms flip up this chair also has right here a USB port so if you want to charge your phone you can charge your phone right here we also have lateral knee pads what these do they're super nice and they're super comfortable they keep your knees together. It keeps your feet from coming off the foot plate. So with these on here, and these can be adjusted. They can be go in. They can, <laughs> let me rephrase that. They can go in, they can go back, they can go this way, they can turn. They're all adjustable. One, two, three, four. There's all kinds of adjustments here. So folks, these are the top of the line. I'm gonna move the cushion so it sits a little bit straighter on the chair. So aesthetically looks better. We're going to put the arms back down. I'm going to show you one more thing. Look at this, folks. You have headlights and you have tail lights on this chair. Headlights and tail lights from the factory. These are, these are the real light, folks. You also have hazards. You have left flasher. You have right flasher. Also with this chair, folks, you see my hand right here? If I go all the way over here, right on the, where my fingers are at, this is where your breaker is. So when you receive your chair, there should be a note right here to go here, turn the power back on. So even though I got the power back on now, I have to go back to the front and turn the power back on. It takes about five seconds. Then I can turn my lights back on, okay? So that's the rear of the chair. As I said, very intensive chair. Also, look at this, folks. The headrest on this chair is fully adjustable. All multiple, multiple adjustments on this headrest. You can have it any position you want. Also, you have bag hooks here. So if you want to carry a backpack, we have backpacks for this chair. So if you want to carry a permobile backpack, 
I have four or five of them here. Just let us know. We can help you with that. You also have here what's called a tenant control. So let's just say you have someone who can't drive their chair. They, they cannot do anything. You can use the attendant control. You just switch the control from the front to here by pushing this button here. And now you can see I'm driving the chair from here. I can do all the functions from this little box over here too, okay? This is called an attendant control. If you don't need that, if you don't need it, we can, we can take it off or you can just fold it down like this or we can take it off by just unplugging this cable and take the whole thing off. You also have an attendant control. So folks, as I said, there's not a whole lot missing on this power chair, huh? Oh, my bad. I got to switch it back. So you're never going to have two drivers. Always either the front one's going to drive or the back one. So I'm going to bring the chair back here. And I'm going to show you how to charge the chair. So when you charge this chair, you will take the Permobil charger that comes with it. This may not be the charger. It's a Permobil charger, but it might be a different one. You plug it right in the front of the joystick right here. And as soon as the light goes to green, the charger will stop charging. These are smart chargers. As soon as the charger realizes the batteries are full, it stops charging. All right. Let's see if I can remember all this. Let's turn the lights off. Permobil F5 VS for vertical standing. Seven miles on this chair. Seven function on this chair. And this chair goes 7.5 miles an hour. So, folks, a lot of seven. Seven miles, seven function, seven and a half miles an hour. This chair has the high speed motors. So this is one of the few chairs that will go up to 14 inches with a seat lift and seven and a half miles an hour. So as I say, this is the Mac Daddy of all power chair because it has the standing feature and all that. It has also the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the electric feet to go out, the electric feet to go up and down, the interior tilt, and the standing feature, okay? It has cloth arm, it has lateral knee pads, safety belt, USB port, a factory light, adjustable headrest, a tendon control, knee brace, chest guard, which you saw earlier on the chair, so if you're looking for a permobil that will stand you up and you want the best there is, this chair is one year old with seven miles. Oh, this is a fast chair. So top speed, if I can see it, is about 7.4 miles an hour. So when you stop also with this chair, let watch, if I stop, Within a couple feet, it'll stop because it has brakes in the motor, electromagnetic brakes. So even though the power's still on, the chair is not going to go anywhere. Even if you're going downhill or uphill, it's not going to run off on you. So this is the Permobil F5 vertical standing. This is the most intricate chair that that's available in the market, the most expensive chair in the market also. As you can see, it has no problem in the grass because it, as long as your grass has a, your yard has a good solid bottom, you're going to be fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to elevate the seat up so you can see the seat elevated. Now this chair, as I said, has seven electrical function. It has the standing feature. I can't do that now because I don't have the chest guard and knee brace, but standing feature, 14 inch seat lift, electric tilt, electric recline, electric leg, interior tilt, up and down legs has everything, lights, lateral pads, a tenon control, USB port. I think I'm all the way up, there we go. So now I'm gonna turn around and drive it so you can see what it looks like. So this one drives at 1.5 miles an hour, a little less than walking speed. 1.5 miles an hour, this one will drive with the seat elevated. So if you're looking for a nice power chair, well, this is the top of the line. So uh, this chair has everything. This is the F5 camouflage color, fully loaded, standing feature also. Uh, I think this one has seven miles ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. 
We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.